What's happening, guys? This is the Grand Master of Faster, and welcome back to Let's Play The Legend of Zelda Oracle of Seasons. In the last episode, we completed Explorer's Crypt and obtained the seventh essence of nature, the Seed of Life. Unfortunately, the Maku Tree could not give us any hints as to the whereabouts of the final essence of nature. But if we look at our map, we can see that there is one area of Holodrum we have not yet explored. So, I think that would be a very good place to start. Now, in order to get there quickly, just warp to the Scent Seed Tree and continue going up until you reach this place. According to the map, this is the remains of the Temple of Seasons, which is on the other side of this gap. And now we can easily cross that gap thanks to the Rock's Cape. But, um, there are some pretty strong enemies here. Lionels, Darknuts. Needless to say, the temple has seen better days. What with all of the rocks and enemies about. Okay. So, we need to find some way to get to that portal. The first thing we want to do is we want to head over here and we actually want to change the season to autumn, believe it or not. I will explain why later. Because, at first glance, given that wall over there, you might think we'd need to make it summer, but no, we want to make it autumn. And here's the reason. If you climb up those vines in the summer, it'll just lead you to a dead end. What you want to do is, well, first of all, you'll want to take down that dark nut. Oh, darn. They are immune to the boomerang. Now, these, the squares where these leaves are, are actually pits in disguise. And it's apparently very hard to cross them if enemies spawn in my way. Okay. So yeah, that's the reason why you want to uh, make it autumn. Now we just need to find another stump because we need to change the season one more time. Okay. Now that we are atop this stump, we want to change it to winter. And we want to Head up and then right. This area would ordinarily be filled with rocks, but now that it is winter, snow has fallen so we can cross and get to the portal. Very nice. Okay, now our visit to Subrosia is not going to last very long. The only thing we need to do here is go in this cave. And inside, we see a Subrosian tossing some very valuable items into that square of lava. And according to him, this shoots off huge fireworks. Hmm. Well, if fireworks are what he wants, we need to throw something in there that will really set things off. Ipso facto, a bomb. Oh, jeez, the screen is shaking. We're going to die. Well, not really, because the volcano, the volcanic eruption, is crossing over to Hollow Drum. And what was once snow and rock is now lava. Believe it or not, this is actually going to m make the temple remains much easier to traverse. And you will see why once we return to the temple remains. 
Okay, so the first thing we want to do is we want to bomb that cave entrance. And uh, get the hell away from that blast. What could be in here, you might ask? Well, it's something very special. It is none other than the final piece of heart. That's right, this is piece of heart number 12. Ah, just look at all those heart containers. Makes a guy feel real special, doesn't it? Of course, I didn't need to go all the way around, but I just wanted to be dramatic. All right. So, now that the layout has been changed, there are a few things we need to take care of. First of all, let's get rid of these darn crows. Now, we want to head back to the stump where we were on previously and change the seasons. This time, we are going to change it to summer. I just want to check my map. Yeah. Okay. Are there any places we have not been yet? Okay. Um. By the way, if you head here, you meet Maple, apparently. <laughs> what I was actually going to say was that if you keep heading to the west, I mean, to the east, excuse me, you will eventually come across Mount Kuko. So it's a nice thing to keep in mind, I guess. And yeah, there's nothing over here, so let's continue onward. Okay. So, with that little detour out of the way, we want to uh, head to the right and now we are going to climb the vines. See, earlier this was a dead end, but since the eruption, we can hop over the lava and into this cave. Okay, so inside this cave, we're going to uh, be going through a little gauntlet of sorts. <laughs> The gel commits Two gels commit suicide! Isn't that funny? Okay, and now we have some rocks to push, but do be careful of those keys. As it can be quite easy to fall down here. Okay, if you ask me, I'd take that dungeon over the uh, trials we had in order to reach the Sea of No Return in uh, Oracle of Ages. This one just involves some clever jumping, which in all honesty is not that bad. Alright, and whoa, that's a- oh, jeez, holy moly! Keys, gels! enemies everywhere all right so we're climbing out and now we are going we are at the tip top of the temple of seasons and this is why we came here what's in this area you might ask or grotto or whatever the hell the term is well for one thing fairies and as we know if something has torches surrounding it it's pretty important. Let's jump into the final portal to Sabrosia. That's right, this is the very last time we will be traveling to Sabrosia. But it's going to be a significant trip. The reason is... Over here. Without further ado, let us enter the final dungeon in, ha in Oracle of Seasons. That's right, the reason why the Maku Tree couldn't um, detect the Last Essence was because it was in Subrosia. A nice twist of fate, if I do say so myself. Anyway! But first, a cutscene. <laughs> I forgot about this, actually. Zelda, no! Zelda, no! Don't leave the refuge! Not now! Let go of me! 
I cannot stand by while the people live in fear of destruction. No matter how frightening it is, you must not lose hope. Hope is the one thing that can lead you to peace. Well, unfortunately, I really hate to do this, but I'm gonna have to... I'm going to have to end the video. So, without... So, next time, on let's uh, play The Legend of Zelda Oracle of Seasons. We are going to find out what awaits us in the final dungeon. See you guys next time.